Welcome to the land of challenges and opportunities, Ladakh, a cold high altitude desert region in the western Himalayas, northwest of the Indian capital New Delhi. For decades, the residents and hoteliers of Ladakh have been using diesel generators and firewood for lighting, heating and cooking. This not only polluted the atmosphere but also involved huge costs in transporting these fuels to Ladakh given its remoteness from the Indian plains. But all this is changing and the region is witnessing the spread of clean energy in the form of solar power which is not only fulfilling the needs of Ladakh but will also produce energy for many other parts of India in future. I met Jagmat Thakpa, director of the Ladakh Renewable Energy Development Agency and he said per square meter Ladakh gets 1200 watts of solar power which is the highest in the country. The second thing is that we have more than 320 sunny days in a year because Ladakh is on the rain shadow side of the Himalayas so it is very clear another thing is that when the temperature is high the panel's efficiency drastically drops here in Ladakh the ambient temperature is very low therefore the efficiency of the solar panels becomes very high that is the main reason why Ladakh is now thought to be one of the best places for solar energy in India the catering staff of Jawahar Navodia Vidyalaya A residential school in Ladakh uses solar energy to cook. The impact of solar energy initiatives on the lives of people in Ladakh is highly visible. Ladakhis who previously relied on polluting and unreliable sources of energy have now been provided with reliable solar energy. On every home and hotel is a solar water heating apparatus and outside are solar cooking systems. All this has slashed the dependence on diesel, kerosene and firewood. Mr. Thakpa said, "We don't have any forests and we don't have much vegetation or tree plantation. All the firewood for Ladakh is imported from Kashmir Valley. Hundreds of trucks come from Srinagar to Leh filled with diesel, kerosene and fossil fuel." So Ladakh was completely dependent for energy on Kashmir Valley and the rest of India for fuel. Now all the hotels in Ladakh which consumed the majority of fuel are using solar water heating systems. So up to 80 to 90% of their energy and heating requirements are met through solar water heaters. It is noon and time for the Sering family to prepare lunch. The family has switched to solar power for all its lighting. cooking and heating of water this is the solar boy ay pantos ma gela dogle tine solar boy chu bushoches khaji choches chi samena pantos doyale tine izu solar mane gas pam korla ma chate phe ma gela dogma pantos gela doyale the results so far are impressive subsidies that half the cost of solar energy systems for hotels and homes make them even more attractive These devices are subsidized by 50% for hotels and residential houses. According to Jigma Thakpa, solar systems that can heat 1.5 million liters a day of solar water heating systems have already been set up, while 4500 domestic solar cooking systems have helped reduce dependence on liquefied petroleum gas and biomass.